Okay, so this is my like fifth attempt to record this video. So I apologize if the intro does not look neat. I've like, I opened and closed this up so many times that I'm just gonna just roll with it. Um, so I was in the process of um, just opening up this order from um, Savannah Scribbles. That's her name on Instagram and Etsy. Uh, so I ordered a few stickers. I was inspired by her layout. Um, she was using um, a blackout journal, you know, with the black pages. I believe hers is from Archer and Olive. Um, I just went ahead and ordered one on on Amazon. It's it was a pretty reasonable price. It's like fourteen or fifteen dollars, and I'll link that down below. And um, the only difference with this one and the Archer and Olive is the Archer and Olive is it's a hard cover. And um, I believe the pages are thicker. So if you plan on using like, I don't know, like glue or anything that you feel like requires thicker pages, I would suggest doing that. Um, I don't know about quality if pens write differently on, you know, different types of paper, but this is what I got. I got the black one from, from Amazon and um, it's a pretty good size my first time using black pages for journaling so I didn't want to invest in something expensive so this is a good deal um so these stickers were in this cute little envelope if the footage saved I'll add it if not then <laughs> I'll just you know show you what I was um unboxing so I had these two little coffee stickers and like I said I just wanted to invest in um white and craft paper stickers so they can stand out on the black journal and then these are so cute so this is like a little mini playlist um sticker so you can write on top of here whatever you're listening to currently um and i'm so excited for that and then also these little um sticker sheets with words and it's all like her whole vibe is like cozy so um, I live in an area where like our winters are very cold, so not as cold as other places, but for California, it's pretty cold. We, we're probably like at forties right now. And, um, I think the lowest will probably hit this winter is like 30. So it gets pretty cold. So yeah, the, the cozy feel is something that I was, um, looking for cause my craft room is freezing right now but i have the heater going so it'll warm up soon so it has um words like lazy days and cozy nights by the can by candlelight sweater weather sound of heavy rain and you know just that you know so like um living among trees and love with this morning smell of books protecting my peace so i love and i love this one coffee mugs and hugs so i'm excited for this one so these are um these are on a clear sheet and they are black so well I don't want to like open them right now but yeah so that's what this one and I ordered another one of those but with the craft paper so it looks like this and um same words but they're on craft paper sticker instead and then I also got the month of the year so January through December and it's like in four different fonts so I really like that and then the days of the of the week as well and then I also got this really pretty Pride and Prejudice sticker sheet and I just love the images even the size of this sheet it fits perfectly in my little I have this little area like a little tin um, box where I have all my stickers and they're all about this size and then I also got these um I also got these uh, vintage book circles stickers. They're really pretty. And then I got another um, days of the week. So the other one was a month. This is days of the week. And um, yeah, so it's also Monday through Friday. And then these little like paper texture stickers. So uh, my main purchase on Etsy was this. This is what I was like mainly looking forward to. And I was so excited. Um, you know, I just I appreciate the packaging. It was so pretty as well. And um, yeah, I look forward to getting more stuff from her. The washi tape too. I thought it was all really pretty. And it came pretty fast too. All right. So the other things that I was unboxing and showing, um, it cut off. So I will, let me just let my cat out. 
going back to sharing what I was sharing, but my phone cut off. I was sharing a few Amazon purchases. So these sticky notes were part of that purchase. And these are frosted sticky notes. Probably grab two, I don't know. Yeah, so they're clear. This is like an almond color. And then this is like a purple color. So when I took a photo of these and put them on my Instagram, I had a couple people ask me what pens would I use because they've used these before and the pen smears off like a gel pen or any of that. So yeah, I wouldn't suggest using a gel pen. Um, the only pen that so far has been able to work with this material um, is a Sharpie brand pen. So not the clicking ones, but the ones with the felt tip still. So I'm going to use a marker to show you, but you know what I mean? Like the, the thinner version of the markers. I had a brown and black one and I can't find them. So I can't demonstrate with that, but I can demonstrate with the Sharpie. So I don't know, I'm just going to write like hello or something. And you know, this, this like really does stay on with this, with the Sharpie. But when you use a pen, like a regular pen, it doesn't, it, it smears off. So that's the downside of it that you can't use these like a regular post-it or sticky note. But um, the Sharpies do hold up with this. So yeah, it holds up. All right, and so I got these on Amazon and the link will also be down below. And then the next Amazon thing I got was um these pens and these highlighters so um like i said i have not journaled i don't know if i did mention it but i have not journaled in like a couple years well not journaled but like planned and just you know have been buying new supplies or any of that i haven't um i was working a job where like i just didn't really have the time i had a desire for it so i would sometimes buy the things but I just didn't have the time to do it. So now that I've been at home and um, I'm trying to jump back into journaling and planning and just more paper crafts, uh, I really, I wanted to buy new pens and highlighters and I came across these, well, I came across both of these. So this is, I guess like, like the first set and then the second set that came out. Like I know they've been around for a while cause when I Googled, not Google, when I YouTubed, I wanted to see what they swatch like. Some videos are pretty old, so I was like, oh, okay, well, they've been around for a while. They were just new to me. Um, so I swatched them on this little little notebook that I have. I got this on uh, at Michael's. And so I swatched them right here. I was filming a video on that, but I was like zoomed in kind of weird. You couldn't, you couldn't tell what I was doing. Um, and it only caught like the first few. So I just, I'm not going to upload that. But um, this is a swatch of... Okay, so this is a swatch of the highlighters and then these are the pens. And um, there's also this pen that's um, a mocha cappuccino pen. No, cappuccino brown. It's like right here. It's really light. It's really pretty. So I've swatched these here. But um, if you want to see like some detailed videos of these being swatched, I can link some and, and recommend some. But they're really nothing new. You can just, you know, search... Um, so I think it's Sarasa Vintage Color or Zebra. I forgot what brand they are. Yeah, they're Zebra. Um, so yeah, if you just look that up, you'll you'll come across those videos. And then um, the highlighters are just the, the Zebra Mild Liners. Just wanted these new colors for my Bible. I like the like soft colors for my, my Bible journaling. Um, and then... From another Etsy shop, I had gotten a few stickers and that Etsy shop is from K Planning. And so I had already opened them, so there's no like opening for that, but um, this is what I've gotten. I got some, some coffee ones. I love coffee stickers and stamps. As soon as I see that, I, I grab them because I really like them. These are so pretty. They have a little bit of gold foiling on them so i got that and then i also had gotten these little teddy bear ones and these are so pretty because 
they are like on a washi tape material. So they're really, they're sheer. They were like frosted. And then I had gotten this little set. It's already open, so I don't want to do like a pretend unboxing. Like it's already open. Um, this is what they look like. And I had opened them on the video that I had to just delete. Um, so they're like frosted post stamps. And they also have some gold foiling on them. They're so pretty. I love the colors because this is like my favorite blue, that like grayish blue. I call it vintage blue. I think that's what it, it is called. I think it is a vintage blue. So it looks like you get four of each design. And they're so pretty. I just, I cannot wait to use these. And um, yeah, so all these little like coffee images and stuff. Yeah. So that's what this one looked like. And then um, the next one was, let me see, let me put this aside. So the next one was also um, like frosted post stamps. And they look like this. And these are all like soft colors, like more like for springtime. So it's like a lavender. And again, that blue. Some little yellow flowers. Yeah, so these are really pretty. I rarely buy um, things for like my own use mostly all the supplies i buy are for my shop um but this was um i got an etsy gift card for christmas so i was like okay i'm just gonna buy for myself then on this one and so she also sent this um little sticker as a thank you and so the pens that i mentioned earlier one pack is from amazon and the other one is from her shop um there's not really a difference just you know shout out to like different seller um, so I'll link down everything below, like I said. And then the last thing that I got from Etsy was these two little washi tapes. And I will also link down the shop. Um, I meant to get a checkered, like a more stretched out one, like a, kind of like if it was two rows only. And I don't know why I ended up getting this one, but... I want to get the bigger checkered, so I'm still looking for that. But I still like this. I'm still going to use it. And then this is just like a like a grid, um, like a grid brown one. And that's what this looks like. And then this checkered one. So that is all. That's all for this haul. Um, um, this is my first video coming back since I don't know, like a couple years. Oh.